a hidden coronavirus pandemic with a number of deaths from COVID-19 far higher than the official figures suggest. Well, I'm joined now from Mexico City by Professor Lori Ann Jimenez Fivey, Head of Molecular Genetics at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Very good to talk to you, Professor. Well, do you agree with the analysis of uh, Sky News' Stuart Ramsey that the number of deaths has been vastly underreported in Mexico? I do agree with the report. Um, as a matter of fact, a few days back, there were several journals, international journals, that pointed to this precise uh, fact. There is, we are, uh, the situation in Mexico uh, is actually in dire straits. Um, the Not unlike uh, the governments, most of the governments in Europe and the U.S. government, the efforts to contain uh, this pandemic were started very late and with insufficient um, uh, efforts of containment. But what makes Mexico different at this point is that the same errors have uh, persisted and have gotten even worse. So at this point, uh, Mexico, well, more than two months ago, Mexico just has n absolutely no containment effort whatsoever. Uh, what uh, the government has been doing is a bit of um, surveillance, mitigation, but the mitigation is very lax, very lax. Um, and, and, and surveillance that has a number of problems in terms of the quality of the data that is produced and the lag that this data has for decision making. So the data at this point has a lag period of about three weeks which uh, leaves, it, it makes it useless for making informed, precise decisions at the moment as they should be. So uh, for yesterday, the uh, numbers that were reported by the government were 38,328 cases and 3,929 deaths. But uh, you have to consider that Mexico is one of the countries that tests the least we do hardly any diagnostic diagnostic testing and absolutely no serological testing. So there is no immunological testing going on. And the PCR testing for diagnosing the virus is uh, in a list of all the countries that report um, number of tests done. We are in the bottom, way, way in the bottom of that list. Well, so... I just wanted to ask you uh, on those numbers you mentioned there, uh, under 4,000 deaths officially reported. There's another way. Is there another way in, in Mexico of looking at it, of trying to get close to what the real numbers might be yes. in the UK? In, 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 so many other, in so many other countries, of course, you look at the, the excess deaths over a, over a five-year period. Does that tell us something, what the true number might be in Mexico? Yes, excess deaths. Uh, what is happening at the funeral homes, at the crematoriums, uh, there's a number of ways of getting getting at it, but all these numbers w uh, will be only apparent uh, very looking in the rearview mirror. For this moment to take action, there are mathematicians, very renowned math mathematicians, uh, working here in Mexico in the country, that have been working very tirelessly to. Uh, have an estimate of how, how of how accurate these numbers are. The last es estimate, a serious mathematical estimate that was done, is that the numbers that are being reported, uh, the true numbers are about 24.8. There's a factor of about 24.8 uh, surplus in cases, which would mean that, which means that taking this into account, the um, the 38 plus cases that were reported yesterday would set us at, up at below the United States, but more towards that scenario instead of the scenario that you uh, have in Europe, which would put us at around 766,000 to about 950,000 cases. Now, in terms of the deaths, the deaths, there's a number of problems with the deaths. The, we know now that for at least a couple of months, a lot uh, a great proportion of the deaths were being reported as something that they call atypical pneumonia, 
So um, these atypical pneumonia deaths uh, have, are officially reporting as so, as, as, as thus, in the death certificates. And some of the doctors here in Mexico have begun to do a little, uh, in parentheses, probable COVID-19 death. But this does not go into the official books. That's one thing. Uh, yesterday, there was a report where the secretary of the subsecretary of health, who is the person in charge of the containment efforts of the uh, COVID-19 crisis in Mexico, uh, he admitted that there has been a problem with testing. Even though we do so little testing, I mean, we're talking about 110 tests per 100,000 uh, people. So. Uh, and so he admitted that about one in five tests are false negatives. This wow. impacts impacts both, mm -hmm. and this has just been acknowledged like three months after we are into this uh, this crisis. Uh, this impacts wow. on the number of deaths, of course, that are reported as COVID-19. Well, it sorry. sounds uh, quite a mess. I'm sorry we are out of time. Uh, Professor Jimenez Fivey, thank Not you very at all. much it was indeed. Thank you very much lovely, for talking to us. Very lovely to be in your, pro in your program. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And uh, that uh, astonishing calculation there from the professor that uh, the number of deaths perhaps could be out by a factor of 24. That's about around 4,000 deaths. Uh, so would put it just under 100,000, which would make it uh, the highest number of uh, reported deaths, which they're not, obviously, uh, in the world. Let me take you through some of the rest of the day's news. The former president of Sinn 